Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we're going to be doing episode 201 of this series and fun fact I'm actually recording this before I do the live stream for episode 200 actually so kind of a weird way of events there but anyways let's get on to today's system. So the system is uh, from the user Earthlight Planet in Discord so all they've put is it's not my best system but I hope you like it. It's on the workshop it's called the Nusto system so without further ado we're going to fly straight into this so here it is. Right okay let's see what we got. Right, oh we got a lot of reading okay that's what we like okay cool right so here is Nusto system right so, ooh, okay, so a nice, a nice decent size of uh, stuff here. Okay, so the NASTO system is located about 650 light years from Earth. The system is located near the outer edges of a bluish green nebula. So you can see that in the background, which is pretty cool. Ooh, nice. Okay. The star NASTO currently has 10 planets orbiting it. Robo speculated to have exotic life, but this is unconfirmed. Seven out of the 10 planets have moons. The biggest moon system belongs to Ido with eight moons. NASTO is similar to our own star, the Sun but it's slightly different. Okay, so we'll have to compare the stats there. All right, okay. So anyways, here is the stats. So having a look here, we can see, yes, yeah, it's, it's similar, but larger. It's got more mass, bigger radius. It's hotter in the surface temperature. It's more luminous, 3.7 times more luminous. Okay, cool. So it's maybe like a slightly older star than the sun then possibly, but it is more massive as well. So pretty cool. Okay. So there is Nusto. Moving on, we got the first planet, Taspo here. It's a hot desert located closest to its star. The planet has no moons, but it speculated it once did. So there it is there. So I'll see a lone hot rock, kind of like Mercury, chilling pretty close to the parent star. So if we have a look here, its stats, it's probably going to be quite warm, 248 degrees. Yeah, so quite a similar object kind of to Mercury there. Okay. Uh, next up, we have got uh, Libo over here. Uh, it's a red and orange gas shine and the second planet to star. This planet has six moons. Cool. Okay, so we've got a hot, nice, warm, hot gas giant here. Let's check its size out. So, kind of like a Planet 9 Neptune size sort of object. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, a little larger than Neptune, actually, in Uranus. Okay. So, there it is. And then onto its moons. Um, let's have a look quick. Uh, look through all of those guys. So, we've got Liber. We've got uh, Libe here. Okay. Then we've got Libby. Uh, Libu. Uh, lips, uh, Liby over here. Okay, so all like minor moves, but yeah, cool. I like the names, how they match up. That's pretty cool. Right. Next up, we got Robo. Robo is the third planet. Oh, Robo is the third planet from its star and is one potentially to have life. Probes have been sent orbiting this planet, but more evidence is needed to confirm since it could just be asteroids. The planet has one moon, Bobo, which is also potentially home to life as well. Okay, so there's the planet. So it's looking uh, Earth-like at first. We've got, you can see it's got some desert sort of look underneath it. We'll have a quick look at that. Uh, there's its moon Bobo as well. Interesting. Okay, so we've got quite an interesting uh, planet and moon here. Kind of reminds me of Space Engine, actually, the way this one looks. So pretty cool. So let's have a little look underneath those clouds. So clouds off. There you are. Okay, so it's looking like a pretty potential uh, good-looking world there. So nice. It's actually got city lights on it as well. Okay, let's check its stats out as well. So looking down here, 95 and 63. Yeah, got the, it's got the stats very nice indeed. So it's got the clouds. Yeah, looking good. So it looks like quite a deserty sort of rocky looking world. Look at its temperature is uh, minus 27 at the moment. Okay, so it's still cold. So yeah, just needs a bit of temperature really to really get it going. But yeah, looking good. So that's definitely a place it could definitely host life by the looks of things. So there is that. Oh, where's its moon? That's so there it is. So we've got Bobo over here. And this one's actually looking um, pretty exotic itself as well here. So, yeah, it's got like a greenish sort of ocean color to it. Let's check its stats as well. Uh, 50 and 7. Okay, so not as high as the planet itself. It has got a higher temperature of 11.9 degrees though. So, pretty good. So, yeah, got quite a nice uh, combo of two objects there. So, looking very nice indeed. Okay. Next up, we have got Zobo. Okay. So but it's a blue, grey and white ice giant and it's the fourth planet from the star. The planet has six moons. Um, it is likely that it had more since it had a ring system. So but it's likely to eventually become part of the ring system as well. Okay, so that's the moon here. So it's going to get torn apart by Roosh Limit probably. But anyways, onto the gas giant itself. That is a great looking ice giant actually. Very, very nicely designed. I really, really like the colour blend in there. Very, very nice realistic looking world I have to say. I mean, it does look, it does look good. I like it. So there's Zobo. 
Actually, I may uh, just take a copy for um, collection. Maybe I'll use it in a system eventually. But if you don't mind, I'm actually going to... I may have a little copy of that. It's actually a really nice looking world. So, then on to its moons. I mean, they all look pretty generic. But yeah, we'll have a quick uh, just look through all of them all as well. So, there you are. But they've all got white trousers. Well, that one has like an atmosphere. What's going on there? Ha! A tiny little asteroid of an atmosphere. Well, what is going on here? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, no, it actually is large enough to have... Um... Okay, so it's not an asteroid then. So, it actually is larger. 217 kilometers in size. Okay, cool. So, it actually has a little atmosphere going. That's cool. Um, so, we've got Zobi and Zobum over here. Cool. All right. Right, next up we have got um, ESO or ESO over here. This one's uh, another gas giant world. It's a blue ice giant in the fifth planet from the start. It has four moons. Okay, cool. Looks quite similar to my planet nine. Actually, another nicer looking ice giant there. Cool. So we have ESO. We've got ESU. Uh, it's just these are all just generic, aren't they? I mean, you can see there they all are. Okay, cool. Nice. Okay, moving on. So next up we've got Ido. So what we got here? Okay, so this one's a red one. Okay, it's a red and white ice giant with the sixth planet from the start. This planet has a ring system and eight moons. Okay, cool. So there it is. So this uh, looks more like a dominant gas giant in here. It's got more mass than the other ones. Okay, got a big ring like Jupiter as well. Okay, so Ido to Ido. Ido is the biggest uh, moon system. So that is... Uh, yeah, okay, cool. So it's got the most moons. Very nice indeed. So we've got asteroids. Any any larger moons of any significance? Let's have a quick look. So there's those guys. This one looks to be slightly coloured in some way. Okay, got a bit of an atmosphere going on, kind of like Titan there. Nice. Okay, cool. So there's all of those guys, right. So next up we've got Turno. It's an ice barren. Okay, so where are we? So that's this one over here. It's an ice barren with a white atmosphere. The planet is seventh from the uh, star and has one moon. Okay, cool. So we can see it's a pretty frozen up world. Looks like it has some sort of ocean going on, though. Okay. Cool. So it's uh, 2.31 degrees. So it must have a bit of greenhouse to keep the temperature going in at this range. Or is that an ocean? I kind of want to say it. That is just a blue, rocky surface. Uh, water off. No, that's not water. Yeah, it's a blue rocky surface. Okay. Interesting. Actually, that did look made out. That did to me look like water at first. I mean, it does quite look similar. Um, well, it does. This does really look like water, I have to say. But if we look here. Or is it ice? It's ice. Okay. I was going to say it really did look like water. But yeah, okay, it is. It's frozen then. Okay. Cool. So I was going to say, as soon as I saw the colours, I was like, hang on, there's no blue there. Ah, okay. Very, very nice. You can be convinced that that was water. Nice. And next up, we got Turner here. So just another uh, asteroid. Okay. Nice. I'm liking this system. This is cool. All right. Uh, next up, we've got Popo. It's a blue and green baron with eight moons. It's the eighth planet from the star. Okay. So here we can see. Okay. So this one, that's definitely not an ocean world there. So it's pretty barren, like he said. Uh, and then we've got Popper. And then uh, Poppy over here. Nice. Okay. Right, next up we got Nasco. So it's a frozen yellow desert planet with no moons. It's a ninth planet from the start and has a slight eccentric orbit. So it's getting darker out here. You can see the uh, starlight's getting a bit dark. So let's have a look at its stats. How far away are we from the star? 235 years. Okay, so we're roughly we're beyond the orbit of Neptune now. So we can see obviously it's going to get pretty dark at this range. So, okay, cool. And then lastly, we have got Juto. This is a planet very similar to Pluto, being the 10th planet from Nusco. This planet has no moons in a very eccentric orbit. Juto was likely close to its star when it was formed, but shot out due to one of the force of the gas giants. Nice. Okay, cool. I liked it. Very, very nice system. Quite a short and sweet one, but still got a nice load of reading. And like, like I always say, I do like a bit of reading. It really adds to the personality of a system. I liked it. Very, very nicely designed. Nice description for each object, and yeah, pretty pretty nice sort of realistic sort of looking system. No wacky orbits or crazy sizes or anything like that. I think it's quite a nice, quite a nicely put together system, I have to say. I mean, I, I, think, it's a, I think it's quite a good one. Yeah, I, I like that. Let's have a line up all the objects. I don't think, it doesn't have anything that's just out of the ordinary. It's got a nice generic sort of design, moons, orbits, and yeah, pretty cool. 
So yeah, nothing too wacky. Definitely more of a realistic like system. And yeah, I really really liked it. So anyways, onto the objects here. We got the red one. That's definitely the dominant gas giant, as we can see. And if we go to mass wise as well, we are easily the largest. So there we are. And on to the other ones. So they're all um, more the ice giant sizes. There we go. That's 100% the best looking gas giant in here. Onto the rocky planets. I think Robo. That's definitely my favourite Earth-like world. I think it's a good looking planet. And then onto all of the other moon or planets and moons, I should say all the way down here so there you are okay cool and there's that little moon with the atmosphere as well very nice indeed then they'll see a bunch of asteroids as well but yeah easily the coolest planets is definitely robo there um and sobo easily easily the coolest ones but yeah that's just my opinion so yeah let me know guys what do you think of this system down below in the comments and again a massive thank you to the user who submitted this system earth like planet yeah i enjoyed that that was a good one so yeah massive thank you to him for sending that uh, simulation in but yeah guys with that all said and done if you'd like to send in your own simulations for this series make sure to join my discord server link in the description there you can upload your uh, systems in there and i can eventually uh, check them out in a video and also later today i'm actually filming episode 200 live so hopefully we're going to get through a load of systems as well so that will definitely shorten the waiting queue down um, which i'm sure everyone will be happy to see so yeah but yeah with that everything yeah all said and done let's see him go for 40 likes on today's video guys subscribe for more helps on the journey to 24,000 subscribers and yeah, make sure you have a great day, stay safe up there, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.